Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing the If I Could Only Keep 10 Eyeshadow Palettes video. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And today's video I'm really excited is a collaboration with my friend Heather Austin. I cannot begin to tell you guys how much I love Heather and how much I love Heather's videos. I really love that I'm collaborating with her because I really do feel like you guys will love her. Her channel. She tests all different kinds of eyeshadow palettes from all different brands and price points and the girl just loves eyeshadow. I know I can relate and she just loves basically to put glitter all over the lid, blend the shadows and just play with makeup because it makes her feel good. So if you are interested in following a channel that just loves to play with makeup, play with eyeshadows, throw some pretty colors and shimmers on your eyelids. I really think that you would love her channel. I just love watching her videos for her different eyeshadow palette reviews and playing with different shadows and the fun looks that she creates. So I definitely think you would enjoy her channel and she's also really funny. So <laughs> yeah. Heather though, I do have a bone to pick with you. Heather suggested that we do this video because she needed to update hers and I need to update mine because I filmed this video well over a year ago. <sighs> you know, I put videos like these off and the stress you have put me through, Heather. Why'd you suggest this video? Anyways, make sure you go and check out Heather's video. I will have it linked down below. And of course, make sure you subscribe to her as well. well let's get into the 10 palettes. When I was picking these 10 palettes, I put myself in a situation. Some robbers came in. They are holding me at gunpoint. They said, Morgan, we're going to steal your entire eyeshadow palette collection, but we'll let you keep 10. Okay. So yeah, I um, it took me like half an hour to really pick these out. Like I said, I did this video last year. If you want to see what I picked last year, check it out. But I don't even have a single eyeshadow palette that was in last year's video, which I'm very surprised by because I picked my 10 before I went back to see what palettes I picked last year. I assume I'm, I'm in a different walk of life. You know, I have a different career, I wear different makeup now, different preferences, I'm experimenting more with color, and I feel like that really showed in my picks. Anyways, if I were to pick tomorrow, these would also be different, so I'm just indecisive. Do I feel that these are set in stone palettes? No. I feel very, very uneasy. So I'm just going to show you because there's no going back now. The order that I'm showing you these in it's not by my favorite palettes, and by the way, these aren't even my favorite palettes. I just had to curate the best collection for myself. If I could only have 10 eyeshadow palettes, I need variety, I need different textures, I need different formulations. So that's where I'm coming from. While some of these might not be my all-time favorite palettes, I felt as though they really created a full collection of what I would need. My thought process was very easy for the first palette. I could not live without this palette in my collection, so I was going to have it. That is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. My favorite go-to look on myself, the look that I feel the most confident in, is when I wear a neutral look that is on the cooler side. Not necessarily grays, though sometimes I'll rock a gray look. But everything about this palette are my favorite colors to wear on myself, so I knew I had to have this. This was a non-negotiable, so that's why I have this. I love the formula, I love the size, I love the price point, and if you like cool tone neutrals, this is the palette for you. I'm not gonna talk much more about this palette, quite frankly, because I've talked about this this a lot. This guy has gotten a lot, a lot, a lot of airtime on my channel, but this was like no brainer. So here's my thought processing continuing. I love neutral shadows. I have a cool toned palette here. I need something that leans a little bit more warm because you know what? Sometimes with whatever I'm wearing or whatever lip color I want or the season, sometimes I do like more warm toned neutrals. So that led me to the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes. 
I love this palette and it really does fulfill those neutral warm tones that I feel like I need. I love the formulation of this. They're smooth, buttery, blendable, and it has every kind of color you could need. And I didn't even realize how warm it leaned until I put it next to the Natasha Denona. But now I have this perfect array of both cool, neutral, and warm neutral tones so I felt as though these two definitely needed a spot in my collection and I'm like okay I've fulfilled the neutral category I gotta throw some color in and last year while I did have color in my video now more than ever I'm wearing color so I definitely wanted to have lots and lots of options. So I went for I'm cheating a little bit because this palette is so big and it has so many different colors. But when I'm in need of color, it has to be the Visi Art Grandi Pro 3. So this is one of those palettes where it's not one of my favorite palettes. I don't use it too often. But if I'm limiting my collection to only 10 palettes, I need this for color options. I mean, we have every scale of the rainbow here. Mine is purple. We do need some purples in here, but what I was thinking, actually, when I went back to double check from last year, I chose the volume one, which is all neutral tones. And here we are with the colorful tones. That was 2020 me. This is 2021. Look what 2020 did to me. And I even use this palette today. I only use two shades, but I use this magenta shade in my crease. And then I use this plum shade in my outer corner. Now, I wouldn't say these are the easiest to work with. They are pressed pigments, but they are workable. And Vizzy Art has a very nice formula. And these shades are so saturated. They're going to give you exactly what you want. Just move slow and patient with these because colors are hard to formulate. They're hard to work with anyways. But I needed this variety in my collection. And I felt as though looking down at my table, we needed color. And this palette brings the color. I don't believe this is even available anymore it was limited edition but I would keep it you know I'm held at gunpoint this is this is the color right here but obviously that palette was all matte I feel like I'm telling a story here I guess it kind of is so <laughs> all mattes very colorful shades I was like okay then I need some colorful shimmers, right? Vizzy Art does have a Grande Volume 2, which would pair perfectly with that, but something me felt like that was cheating. So not only did I need some colorful shimmers, but I know that I need my Astro Blitz formula from Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath is in the forefront of my mind this whole time. Please keep that in mind. While I didn't want to overload you with Pat McGrath palettes in this video, I needed the Astro Blitz formula. So put two and two together. Needing the Astro Blitz formula and needing some shimmery colorful shades, I have picked out the Pat McGrath Labs Blitz Astro Quad in Nocturnal Nirvana. This was from a holiday collection and here are the colors that we are working with. It is a quad, but I felt like, you know what, I had so many shades with the Grande Pro. It's okay to have a quad. And today I actually use this for this look. I have this purple shade all over my lid and I use the gold as the inner corner color. And uh, this palette is so pretty, you guys. Well, I do prefer to pair this with matte shades, which would, in this case, in this life situation, be the Vizzy Art palette. It also looks really good on its own. This shade is probably the least shimmery of the quad here. But, I mean, these three shades are so extremely glittery. And this covers me in the blue, purple, green category as far as colors. And then we also have the gold right here. So this satisfied my need to have Blitz Astral. And it satisfied my need to have some colorful shimmers to go with my Vizzy Art palette and to play with that. So I'm very content with this choice right here. So now that I'm in my Pat McGrath drawer, I need to have a Mothership palette. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Arguably, I wanted more than one, but we have to be sensible here. I have to pick just one. Looking down at the colors that I had, while I like my colors, I still like my neutrals. What's missing from my neutrals, or not necessarily neutral, but a little bit more wearable? That would be rose tones. And Pat McGrath has a lot of rose tones options. So then I went to my motherships because I wanted it to be in a mothership. And I concluded that the Divine Rose 2 was best for me. This is actually probably my most used Divine Rose palette anyways. 
And I mean, hey, this is very, very rose. We have some fun pops here to add some brightness. But we also have a little bit more cooled down neutral tones here as well. And I felt like looking down at the shades that I already had. This one definitely added a pop to my collection. It fulfilled a need. And of course, we have our Mothership colors right here. This champagne shade is the glittery formula from Pat McGrath, which can look good with any color as a background neutral or rainbows this is gonna look good we have a fun multi chrome right here all the works here very happy with this choice looking down at my table this fulfilled an area that needed fulfilled so coming from pinks I knew I needed to have purples if you're new to my channel purple is one of my favorite colors to wear like if I'm going to wear colorful eyeshadow 80% of the time it's gonna be purple so I just need my favorite purple palette in my collection and I have a lot of purple palettes that I love and this is a very large palette so again it feels like cheating to me but really it's my favorite purple palette I don't care how many shadows are in this palette I'm gonna have it because I love purple shades it's a newer palette this is the abh norvina what is which one is this volume 5 palette i love this again recently within the last few months this has been featured in so many videos she's gotten her moment to shine on my channel it really does have the perfect purple shades in here for what i would need not only for every day but also if i want to go very bold you have more neutral kind of wearable purpley mauvey plummy tones right here you have all the different lilacs to play with you have all different kinds of shimmers for the lids and you can even really explore warm looks right here it's just it's the best all-encompassing purple palette with very flattering tones that also work well with purples. The quality is fantastic. So like I said, I know it's a large palette, but no matter how many shades were going to be in this palette, it was going to be in this video. So yes, we need this to fulfill my need for purple shadows. We're halfway through. My collection is halfway filled. I have five more palettes that I need to choose. And I was, I was feeling guilty about the number of large palettes that I had. I need a travel palette in my collection. So I wanted something really small that had a great formula with really great colors that I loved. I picked out the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette in the shade Queen of Glow. I do wish it was maybe a little bit more cooler, but this is one of my all-time favorite quads from Charlotte Tilbury. I just wanted to have this formula in my collection. Three shimmers in here, one matte. The matte is so rich, but still creamy. The shimmers are rich and juicy and moist and all of the nasty words that describe a shimmer yes I don't know I just really love this one I needed to have it I wanted a small travel palette I wanted a quad that I could grab for to create a whole look without having to think about anything so I would have Queen of Glow it's the best from Charlotte Tilbury now for the next palette listen I didn't want to put this one in this video but I also don't want to live without this palette it's boring I probably already have repetitive shades that are in my collection right now but there's something about it and I was missing a nice quality black none of the palettes that I've mentioned thus far have a good rich deep flat matte black so I had to bring in the Soft Glam palette. This palette holds a very special place in my heart. And like I said, pretty sure in the neutral shades that I've already shown you, maybe already exist. But I have to have this in my collection. It's the perfect everyday palette for any type of neutral needs that you have. All-in-one palette. Good for travel. Not the smallest like a Charlotte Tilbury, but you know, an overnight bag. Maybe not flying, but an overnight bag. And I just needed to have this one. I don't know. I didn't feature it in last year's, which I'm shocked by. I did the Sultry palette, but the Glam palette fulfilled my needs for Sultry. So I needed Soft Glam. Especially, I guess, I just use this all the time with bridal makeup as well. It's so good. The quality is so good. And this had the black that I was going for. This is one of my favorite blacks. It's a classic palette to me. Again, taking a look down, I felt like I needed some more mauve lilac-y tones. I do have a purple palette, but I wanted something that was like a neutral purple palette, a wearable purple palette. So I had to go with my Vizzy Art Paris Edit palette. Not only does it have these neutral mauve lilac-y tones that I really like, just something more subdued, but it also was nice and tiny and I felt good because I've been cheating with very large palettes. So this does contain 12 shades. Anyways, this was in the family of tones that I wear a lot and was not 
not yet in this new collection of palettes that I had. So I had this, this filled a void that was missing. Okay, we are on to the last and final palette. This one for me was just a fun one. I was looking down, I wanted a palette that felt fun and inspiring to me, that had varying tones than what I already have. And I can't believe I chose this one. This one's a surprise to me, but I've really been loving the Butte Bean and Shrouds Cosmetics. It's freaking Bats palette. It's only a nine pan palette, but I feel like these tones don't really exist in the collection that I've built for myself. Maybe a few, but the shimmers here I find to be so unique. I definitely don't have shimmers like this in the current collection. The mattes like this, we don't have a pukey green. I don't think we have a periwinkle shade like this really. So yeah, I felt like I didn't have these colors. This one is a fun one for me. It's very, very blendable. You know, the quality is there. This is just kind of like that extra palette that I would have for fun. So that's why I put this one in this video. All right, you guys, so there we have it. This would be the 10 palettes as of today that I would pick if I could only keep 10 palettes from my collection. I could do this video every day and it'd probably <laughs> be different answers, but there we have it. Make sure you go check out Heather Austin's video if you are looking for more stress. I bet you she was stressed because there's, she has a lot of eyeshadow palettes as well. This is stressful for us eyeshadow palette lovers, okay? Make sure you go subscribe as well and tell her that I sent you and I will see you all in the next one. If you aren't subscribed to me, what you doing? subscribe to me. I will see you guys later. Have a good one.